Hey guys, just back with another video. Just uh, saw on Pierre Polyev's channel, he released a new video about his common sense budget demands. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it like, out, like usual after. We are making three specific demands for Justin Trudeau for the forthcoming budget. First, axe the tax on food and farmers by passing C234. That will take carbon tax off farmers barns and drying to provide food price relief to Canadians. Two, build homes and not bureaucracy by requiring cities permit 15% more housing completions each year as a condition of receiving federal funds. Three, cap spending with a dollar for dollar law to bring down inflation and interest rates. The dollar for dollar law will require the government find one new dollar of savings for every new dollar of spending. By capping government, taxpayers and the economy can catch up with the cost. We can balance the budget again and bring down inflation and, and, and interest rates. This dollar for dollar principle is the one that single moms, small businesses and seniors use to run their finances. And this is what we are demanding the government uh, implement as well. Again, tax the Trudeau tax on food farmers to build homes not bureaucracies and three cap the spending with a dollar for dollar law to bring down inflation and interest rates this these are common sense demands if we don't get them we won't support the budget common sense conservatives will continue to fight for for everyday canadians who work hard pay their taxes and play by the rules until the carbon tax election comes in that election we will have a simple choice in a costly coalition of Justin Trudeau and the NDP, tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs, and unleash crime and chaos in your community. Good point. Common sense conservatives will tax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Thank you very much. Let's bring it home. So, yeah, you know, and, and again, like the thing I like most about that is just the fact that he keeps kind of hammering home the fact that the, the liberal NDP coalition is not just a coalition of, of a like minds. It's a coalition that has done nothing but make Canadians more financially unstable. Now, he keeps talking about this carbon election when we have the carbon election. I know he's hoping, just like we're all hoping that, you know, that I believe they have a next round of voting sometime in May. And apparently, and I need to do more research in this for sure, but apparently the next round of voting you know, to pass to pass a, a set of bills, if the NDP votes no on it, apparently it automatically triggers a, an election or a vote of non-confidence. So I'm again, I'm, if any of you know more about that than I do, I, I heard that I think from a Northern Perspective Channel. Uh, check them out if you haven't; that they really know their stuff. But I need to do a little bit more research on that, and then I'll, I'll make another video as we get closer to May. But I know he's hoping for it, like we all are. But like we've said before, and as many of you have mentioned in the comments, Jagmeet Singh and those Liberal MPs, they all want their they all want their pension. They're not going to call an election or have some sort of vote of non-confidence, vote for that vote of non vote yes for the no, vote of non-confidence, have an election and then risk them losing their pension. They're just not going to do it. They're not in it for you. They're in it for themselves, like every politician. I'm sure there's conservatives who would do that too. Maybe I'm wrong, but we know for a fact that the NDP and Liberals are essentially holding Canadians hostage. Um, but, you know, like all really that Pierre Polyev can do right now is just kind of continue to make videos like this where he's talking about how expensive it is and how rents double and our, our paychecks aren't worth as much. Our dollars not worth as much. It's too much to fill up. It's too much to go to the grocery store. And, you know, finances are a very big issue for most people, especially the middle class. And when you see yourself in that middle class and then you're starting to slip away from it and you look at the big reasons why you're looking at these policies that are creating this. And so all he, all he can really do is kind of just keep reminding us of this. Hopefully he doesn't do anything to, you know, screw things up or, or whatever, but unfortunately we still are going to have to wait probably around a year and a half. I hope not. Maybe I'm being naive. I probably am, but I, I still have hope that we'll have something uh, before that. Just because you know we're just Canadians are desperate at this point, and you know desperation can sometimes. And I know I know there's people worried about 
well, what if Trudeau's policies, his taxes just keep raising? Are people going to get violent? I don't see that happening. I hope it doesn't happen. I don't think we need to resort to that. But it is a possibility that the more upset people get, the more violent things could potentially become. Um, but even then, I, I think if that happened, if there, if there was violence that broke in on the streets, it's not like we'd get to the people who want to cause violence would get to Trudeau or Singh. They'd be safely removed, and then there'd just be a bunch of fighting on the streets. That's not good for anyone. And by the way, <clears throat> by the way, it's also not good if someone were to, uh, you know, go out and hurt Justin Trudeau. <clears throat> Sorry, one second. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. So I'm, it also wouldn't be very good for someone to go and physically assault Justin Trudeau because that's not going to do anything. Oh, what if he died? Like, no, no, don't. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Could he potentially possibly be arrested if certain trials don't go his way? Yes. Should he be? Probably. But a lot of people, you know, this whole violent unrest, like we got to calm down a little bit. Just be a little bit patient. Hopefully there's an election. Keep spreading Pierre Polio's message. Show him videos like this where he breaks down how he wants to cap spending with a dollar per dollar budget. I mean, that seems like a way better idea than saying something like, well, you know, the, the budget still just balance itself. That never works. It works if you use liberal math, which means it's not going to work. But, you know, he just... He's, he's just so out of touch with everything he says. He just doesn't know how to manage anything. Kevin O'Leary has also broken that down very well about you know his just a disastrous financial uh, reign as a prime minister. It's just one of the worst we've ever seen here in Canada. I know it sucks, but we just got to kind of keep just be a little bit patient and keep hoping that we do get that election. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.